welcome to another episode of Cole Outdoors. Today, we have an unbagging. Can't wait to get to it and show you all the goodies that I got. Got some soft plastics here. First thing we're gonna start with is the power worm bait. I got this for, for drop shot in for clear waters, you know. Got this real bait fish profile and like a real bait fish color, like for clear water when when conditions are tough. And I think this bait will do really well. Earn fish bites and don't and don't let go. So we're gonna see how true is that for that. Right here we have the missile bait. And this is in a golden amber color. Um, one of the resis that I fish have the color crayfish in it. So I should do well in trying to match the hatch. And maybe I can get a big one on this color. And and we, right here we have another D-bomb. And we have it in a super bug. It's a green on the bottom and blue, blue flake on the top. So... I have really had success on this color in the past in most of the lakes that I fish in. So, so this should be a, another good bait in the resis that I fish to and the lakes that I fish. So we're going to do good this year with that bait. All right. Right now we got the Z bait company. And we got the rivet tail worm. And this is in a eerie shiner goal all right i haven't thrown this bait but when i seen it in the tank i had to get it because the tail floats straight up and i can see me using a shaky head to, when that bite is tough to trigger bites and that tail just move ever so gently and softly without you even moving it so this is going to be a key bait for me when that bite is tough and i really and I have to finesse them that is that is the Z bait, and that is the rib tail worm. I have it in a green, a Z green. All it is is a green pumpkin. So that is that for that. Here we have the range bait. This is a ring craw. When I seen this, I was skeptical about it. But then I see my friends smoke fish on them. I said I had to get these, man. And I seen it in the water, and they give you like the, like the claws in the defensive state, and cause the claws floats up, and I'm like, wow, this bait is, is a killer, and he smoked like quality fish on it on these baits, so, um, so I had to get him. This is a black and blue flake. I have another one in a green pumpkin. Another one in a BB crawl. And another one in green pumpkin blue. So, can't wait to get on the water and throw these. Here we have the Eagle Trocar hook and the Finesse Worm. Um, what can I say? The hooks. I think they make the best hooks in the world. In my opinion, other people have their opinion. But these are the Trocar hooks. Right here, we're going to start with the hard baits. We're going to start with the Hidden Villa Tackle. With a panfish imitator. What I can tell, he did an amazing paint job on these. On this, he made custom lures. Um, you got the hit that rattle. It's a loud rattle. Um, he put the orange under the belly, the blue on the cheek, the baby blue on the cheek. Nice color. This is a nice crank that he made. And he's not that expensive for a custom paint job, but this is a great panfish imitator. Um, we have another one of his baits. Another panfish imitator. Um, great paint job. Got that purple accent right there on two of the 
to his side on the side of him. Um, blue on the cheek, orange on the belly. Um, check the rattles. Oh, it's a one knocker. See, sometimes in the water, that may be too much for the fish. But a one knocker will sometimes catch the fish because it's it's not that all them BBs moving around. It's just a a one knocker. If you just hit that one thump, da -da. so. That's a good bait right there. Nice paint job. It's a one knocker. Let's move on to the next bait. All right, this is a S crank. You know the Mega Bass S crank um, blank. Another panfish imitator. Great paint job. Got the olive oil on the on the back. You know. Um, this is a, like a 2.0. I really like the 1.2, but this is a great bait as well. So that is it for the Hidden Villa Tackle. Next we have is the Live Target Bait. I have all these baits in the same color. The reason I did that because they dive to different depths. And this... Uh, Come on, get up out of here. Alright. It's a blue and brown crankbait. My target is very lifelike at the like the 3D eyes that come out. Um the, I think this is a one knocker. Yeah, it's a one knocker. Um the hooks are very sharp. Great details. I got them in a this is a it's out to five to six feet. The other one dive to six to eight and i have another one with a bigger look dives to eight to ten so i got them in three three depths they dive to three depths three different depths um i like to fish this on you know all the crankbaits i fish i try to fish on 10 pound fluorocarbon to get them to their maximum depth, just take a long cast and and just start winding. So I really like this color crankbait because it imitates the um, crayfish in the lakes that I fish too. One of the crayfish in the lakes and resis that I fish. Now we're going to get into the mega bass. First thing up is the S crank 1.2, and we have this one in. A black back shark. Okay, now this will be used for in like dirty to stain water. I can see it really catching fish in that that dirty to dirty stain water. And with the S crank, it just don't just go side to side. It give you that erratic action. When you reeling it, so it goes side to side, then it goes off and then come back straight. So that is what the S crank do. Let me see what it has. Oh, this hooks is up sharp. Really no rattles. So this is what you want in dirty to stain water. Um, next thing up in the S crank. Oh yeah, let me just show you how big this is compared to. See, this is supposed to be a 2.0. This is 1.0. Two, see the difference. That's a big difference. See, so okay. And next, next X crank we have. Is a secret gill. Oh, come out of here. Hook this stuck to the box. Okay. Well, wow, this is a nice color, nice bluegill imitator. Nice sharp hooks. Um, just like the the other one, just the colors. Color is nice. Got that 
purple into it. That what can I call that? Maroon. That's look look like maroon right there, so um no rattles. I love no rattle baits. Um this look like we're gonna kill them this year. The next bait we have is the Pop Max, and this is in a secret shack, secret gill too. We got a couple of this on, oh, man. We hooks are sharp. Nice sharp hooks as well. Um, what can I say? We got right here up under the gills. That's where the water come out, so it make that make a loud popping sound the water go in through here and disperse out here so you get that loud popping sound got rattles in it um the feather trailer on the hooks i use this bait um i have another one of these baits and you can walk the dog with with this bait as well as pop it so you get like a two-in-one bait with this bait and that is the Pop Max. And now we're going to get into the Vision 110s. We're going to start with the... I'm going to just name them straight down. Then we're going to get into the colors. This is the Kamiyamo. The Kamiyamo. Ghost Pearl. This is the Waga. Waga. Kumarang. I don't know if I said that right. Please don't roast me for that one. Um, this is the Hilo. Um, this is a limited edition U.S. version. This is the Laker. This is the Signal. The Signal Eraser. Wagasagi. This is the GW Steel Flasher. And this is the Stain. The GP Stain. Reaction, and I don't know what this beat is. This is, mm, I think, a Edo something. I don't remember the name of it, but if you can find the name of it. it. Yep, this is a limited edition bait. Plus one, if you can find the name for me. That'll be great. Thank you. All right, so we're going to get into the colors now. See right here. We have, I love this color. Got like a purple, like it changed colors in a, in a in certain light. Right now I see purple and I see a, a tad bit of green in there. I don't know if you can get that. Like it changed the colors in the light. Got like a yellow belly, a little accent of purple on the cheek. Um, Nice sharp hooks. I don't change my hooks on the Mega Bass. A lot of people do, but I don't. I never had them bent on. Never have them bent on me yet. Um, I caught a three pound, a solid three pound on this, and the hooks never bent. Maybe when I get up to like four or five, they may bend. They may bend, but not to me. I think it take away from the action because I like it for it to dive nose down. And I think you put heavy hooks on there, it start to dive more straighter. But the but the, you get more bites when they dive more face nose down. To me, in my opinion. I don't know about other people's opinion. That's my opinion. So that's that for that color. Okay, this color. What can I say about it? I'll come out the box. Um, what can I say about this? It remind me of like bait fish. That's another bait fish color. Um, I think it have like a really... Really shiny flash. I think I throw this in like clear water to imitate bait fish. I don't know what type bait fish it imitates. I just like the color. It's a real nice color. They say fish and bait catch people more than they catch fish. I'm starting to believe that. Um, this is another one. This is a limited edition bait from Mega Bass. Got the SP right there. I think that stands for Lumen Edition. They, they came out with these. It says a tour. US, I guess it's a USA tour. They got a, I don't know how many 
how many they made. I'm not going to catch me lying about that. Like the color see-through, clear water. This will be a killer. So this is why I got that bait. Next one. Uh -huh. This is hard to come out the box. Come on. Get out of there, guy. Okay. Next one we got. I like it. A little transparent through it. Um, olive green back. A little hint of light green. Got a maroon color on the cheek. A little purple. Nice head. Imitating another bait fish. That's all you're trying to do. These baits are great imitation of bait fish. So, I really like the color. The hooks are very sharp. You know, same deal. Um, right here. We got a plus one. It dives. A, it dives deeper than the than the regular mega bass. Nice color. Got the gold head. Gold head. A little purple on the tail. Yellow on the top of the head. Um, another bait fish imitating. You will throw this in clear water. Put it on nice ten pound test line. Throw a long cast and you probably get it to that maximum depth you're looking for with the plus ones. Another color. Holographic finish. Um, black or purple on the tail. It's kind of changed colors again. In different light. In different light colors. What we have here, we have a purple head. Yellow on the on the belly, nice color. Right here, this is a square bill. It got a different lip than the other guys. It got like a square lip, rather than a circle lip that, than the other baits have. See, so you got like that square lip. I guess that's why they call it the square big version. You see right here how that lip is rounded. And this one is squared. Red eyes. Another ghost bait. Can't Ghost is always a good color. In stained water. In clear water. So that is that for that bait. Here we go with another plus one. This color is sick. It's really sick. Got a bunch of colors in it. Holographic. Not a holographic, but it got a transparent on the bottom. Purple tail. Like uh, I think it changed colors in different lightning. Because it go from green to gold, I think. I think it'll be a, that's a, probably a great fish retractant. They just see different colors. Maybe they'll hit it on stained water. This is a great bait. Like I said, you want to fish this with, I fish it in 10, with 10 pound tests. And just make a long cast because you can throw a country mile with these mega bass. And this is a good color. Can't complain about the color. Nice bait fish imitator. So that is it for the mega bass. Right here we have the spinning Arashi. This is a spy bait type thing. I never used the spy bait, so this will be a first for me. Uh -huh. I don't even know how to fish these things. I just seen it and said I had to try one of these out. So this is the this is a stormer. Spinning Arachi. Got the fan type blades on it. <laughs> prop prop baits. I think they call them prop. And I think it was fish just on spinning gear, light line, and just go to the count it down. Then you retrieve it some type of way. I, I don't know. So I just I have it in two colors. I got the, the what is the color? I ain't gonna focus on the color. This is like a white, a transparent white ghost. We're gonna call that ghost. And this look like a perch type deal. So. That is it for the hard bait. I'm not gonna. That is it for the hard bait. I'm gonna leave y'all with some fish catches and it starts right. Tag it.
Claro. Dinker. Little dinker on the on the Let the little guy go. Shake with the flake shake and I'm taking it off. No, I know something different. Finally landed a bass. And a little flake shake. Huh. <sighs>